I really am a fan of defining terms, but more so I like to explore ideas. And the heel and heel sion is a very complex idea to explore. Because healing, the healing arts, it's such a diverse and wide range of approaches. Even if you, you can even include the medical profession, because they would consider themselves in the profession of healing, I believe. But in spiritual terms, healing really comes down to feeling whole. Paradoxically, even though we know we are not whole, because we are individual and separate and have this illusion of reality that we walk through, there is still a wholeness within us that it's an incomplete wholeness. So we are incomplete in the sense that there's not a finished product or perfection inherent and there's more to grow and to do with our lives. But there is also a wholeness and, and a feeling of peace that comes with being in this process that okay I'm whole within the incompleteness but the real thing I want to talk about for healing is the nature of pain when I first started as a massage therapist I really was keen on this idea of helping people become free from pain because I had become free from some physical chronic pain that I had convinced myself and the doctors had told me I would have to deal with for the rest of my life. So that idea cemented, the pain stayed, and then it reinforced itself in a painful cycle. And so because of another therapist, my teacher, liberated and helped work that out, and now I got to see and break free from that pain pattern, I really wanted to share that gift and pass it on. And this idea of passing it on is also apl applicable in the converse idea of what happens when pain is not addressed in a healthy way. When we do not transmute and work with our pain in a way that gives us freedom, there is this impulse or instinct to pass on the pain unconsciously, whatever you want to say, when we're hurting, we want others to hurt so that they know and they have the resonance with what this suffering is like. You see this in all forms and on all levels, you know, parent to child, generational pain is passed down, all sorts of unhealthy spreads happen in this way. But if we're really honest, we notice that causing pain does not get rid of our pain. And this is why they talk about revenge so much in tropes and movies is, you know, you get revenge and then it's empty. You know, you were hurting so bad you wanted your target of vengeance to feel that pain and get hurt. And maybe it was viscerally satisfying for a moment or whatever, but your pain has not been addressed. And so Heelsion is really about what do we do with our pain because sharing it and passing it in that way it's just making things worse. You know, it's like we're bleeding with a knife wound and then we cut others and that doesn't heal ours and now there's more knife wounds in the world. So working with pain on all levels, Heelsion's approach is to treat pain as information. On the physical level, if something hurts, stop. <laughs> as a general rule. So emotional pain also has information for us. If something is painful, life is showing us what we don't want and what is not working. And we can use that inquiry not to blame and not to push it back and not to see ourselves as a victim as like, what caused this? It is a teacher of that didn't work. That kind of situation doesn't work. How can I move on and learn differently to not experience that pain again? And that gives us freedom because we can change things now with that information. So there's a lot more avenues of this idea that we can explore. However, I like keeping these videos a little bit more compact so that they're easier to digest. So I'm curious where you're all sitting at with pain in your process and especially the type of 
emotional pains that we normally don't address in our culture. Thank you for watching.